Hello, this is Dr. Kim from Hohu Spine and Joints. Today's topic is about rheumatoid arthritis. Many people have heard from time to time about rheumatoid arthritis, and yet nobody seems to know exactly what it is. I will tell you specific traits and details about diagnosis and treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is basically autoimmune disease. That means our immune system attacks our bodies and it's causing the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis that we know about. The targets of the attack in rheumatoid arthritis patients are joint synovium and cartilage. If the attack were to go untreated, it results in synovium and cartilage damage. If the attack persists, it may lead to arthritis and even to joint deformity. It's known to be more common among females, affecting about 3% of the entire population, while only 1% of males are affected by rheumatoid arthritis. The cause of the disease is uncertain even up until today, but the fact that 15 to 20% of monozygotic twins suffer from rheumatoid arthritis suggests that the genetic predisposition is the main factor. The symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis are somewhat different from person to person, so the diagnosis itself cannot be determined straightforwardly. The diagnostic criteria are divided into seven categories, and it is believed that if four of these symptoms persists for more than six weeks, the diagnosis for rheumatoid arthritis can be confirmed. Let me explain the diagnostic criteria. The first one is stiffness of the joints in the morning. It refers to not so smooth sensation among your joints, usually in the hands and fingers, when you wake up in the morning. If it is relieved one or two hours after you woke up, you have the criteria number one. The second one is swelling in three or more joints. The third one is the presence of rheumatoid nodules, which are small lumps on the skin. The fourth one, is a finding of joint degeneration and bone weakness in the metacarpophalangeal area on your hand x-ray. The fifth one is symmetrical discomfort of your joints. The sixth one is the confirmation of rheumatoid factor in a blood serum test. And the last one is the presence of arthritis signs in the hands and wrists. If four or more of these seven criteria persist for more than six weeks, a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis can be made. As you can see, the diagnostic criteria for rheumatoid arthritis are ambiguous. Even if rheumatoid factor does not appear in a blood test, the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis can still be made. Therefore, consistent medical attention for several weeks is necessary to properly diagnose and treat the condition. The main treatment for rheumatoid arthritis is drug therapy. In the past, surgical treatment was often required because research on rheumatoid arthritis medication was insufficient and rheumatoid arthritis was difficult to control. But nowadays, many rheumatoid arthritis patients can be effectively controlled with medication alone, thanks to the accumulation of considerable data. Let me get you into medication strategy for rheumatoid arthritis. Initially, anti-inflammatory drugs are used, followed by immunosuppressants as second-line treatment. Using steroids is restricted, allowed only during acute exacerbation periods called flares. Since the degree of activity of rheumatoid arthritis varies among patients, the point is to find the right drug and its dosage level for each patient by adjusting the medication from time to time. Since rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease, it is important to use medication regularly for a long time. You cannot expect complete cure. It is only controlled via proper medication. If any rheumatoid arthritis patient is left untreated without medication, joint deformities may appear, 
with severity proportional to the length of the neglected period. Surgical treatment has a role in correcting deformed joints in patients with neglected rheumatoid arthritis for a long time and removing synovial hypertrophy in patients with severe activity of rheumatoid arthritis. Nowadays, the number of rheumatoid arthritis patients requiring surgery is decreasing because cases of neglected rheumatoid arthritis are becoming uncommon. I provided an overview of rheumatoid arthritis. Since it is a very ambiguous disease, if you suspect that you may have rheumatoid arthritis after watching this video, please be sure to seek actual medical assistance. This was Dr. Kim from Hoho Spine and Joints. Thank you very much.